Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I have a weird little question. I asked how many quarters are there in $4? How many quarters are there in $4? Now, a ton of people answered me on the internet. I don't usually get this much interaction with my Facebook questions of the day. Um, it was because I think this one is such a common sense little problem, but I would like you to hang on till the end because I'm going to relate this to a math problem that you guys screw up. So if this is easy, then something else should be really easy too. So let's check this out. How many quarters are there in $4? Well, most of you guys know that if I take four quarters here, 25 cents each, 25, 50, 75, a dollar, I'm gonna end up with one dollar. So four quarters will give me the next dollar. Obviously, for each four quarters I take, I'm gonna end up with another dollar. So now I've got two. Now I'm up to three. And if I give myself another four quarters, I'm up to four. So we can see four, eight, 16, I'm sorry, four, eight, 12, 16, oh man, when your math teacher can't uh, count by fours, maybe she should go home or be fired. Okay, so 16 quarters in a dollar, in four dollars. So easy little question, nobody struggled with it, and yet, um, when I write this purely mathematically without the context of money, you guys do screw it up. Let me let me write this mathematically. If I say, how many quarters are there in four dollars, I'm asking how many times does 0.25 go into, see that word in, four. How many times does 0.25 go into 4? 0.25 go into 4. Or another way of thinking this, what is 4 divided by 0.25? how many quarters are there inside of four dollars okay well dividing by decimals is one of those skills that often shows up on the non-calculator section of the GED and you guys have your little algorithms memorized maybe partially you do all these steps and you come up with funky wrong answers and yet when I gave you a real-life context like this um, you were able to really quickly come up with this so anyway I just wanted to show you that this has a direct correlation to decimals, and we're going to be seeing that in the next few days. So how many quarters are there in $4? 16 quarters in $4. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.